Welcome to Tally Learning Hub. In this session, you will learn about sales and purchase order processing in Tally Prime. The order processing differs from business to business. Sometimes, the same organization may follow a different process at different times for different products and parties or different cycle for purchases and sales. For example, you may follow a process of receiving the sales order, delivering the material, raising the invoice and receiving the amount for the invoice. One may simply deliver the invoice with goods and not have the prior two steps. List goes on and on. Here is why Tally Prime is so flexible that it allows you to handle sales and purchase process the way you want without having to change the way you use to conduct your business. All right, let's look at order processing in Tally Prime. Let's start with sales order processing. Sales order processing is the process of receiving and managing orders from customers and it involves tracking all events until an order is fulfilled. Let's say Max Electronics has received an order from High Tech Computer World for delivering 10 numbers of Asus 16.6 inch monitor and Dell 17 inch monitor. This needs to be fulfilled in the next three days. To record this sales order from Gateway of Tally, press V for vouchers. Press F10 for other vouchers. Type sales order and select order from the list. Now you can see that a message stating that you need to activate the sales order feature with an option to activate it is shown. Press Y to activate. Select the customer's ledger, mention the order and dispatch details. Press Ctrl plus A, accept the screen. The customer's details are automatically captured from the ledger. Press Ctrl plus A to accept this screen. The order number will be captured automatically. However, you can change it as per your wish or can predefine the order number format. Select the sales ledger. Press spacebar and you get the list of stock items that you have created. I'm selecting Asus 16.6 inch monitor. Mention due on as three days. Enter the quantity and the rate. Similarly, I'm selecting Dell 17 inch monitor. Mention the order details. Press enter and accept the screen to complete the sales order voucher. To see the pending sales order, press Alt plus G for Go To, type Sales Order and select Sales Order Stock Group Outstanding. Select the Stock Group. I'm selecting Monitors. Here you'll get to see the summary of pending orders. Press Enter to see the transaction-wise order details. Press Escape to come back to Sales Order Vouchers. Next, on 19th March, Max Electronics delivered 50% of the materials against the order received from High Tech Computer World. To account this, we'll be recording a delivery note which is commonly known as Delivery Chalan. To record Delivery Chalan, press F10 for other vouchers, type Delivery Note, select Delivery Note from the list. Press Y to activate. Change the date by pressing F2. Select Party Ledger. I'm selecting High Tech Computer World. Select the order number against which the goods are delivered. Update the dispatch details as required. Press Ctrl plus A to accept. Again, Ctrl plus A to accept the party details. Now you can see the details from the sales order is auto-captured in the delivery note. Please enter to move forward. You can select the auto-populated tracking number or you can choose to give a new number. Here a tracking number is a reference that will help you link the related transactions you may record later. Enter the quantity you are delivering. Similarly, I am specifying the details for Dell 17-inch monitor. Enter and accept to complete the delivery note voucher. To see the details of the goods delivered for which the invoice is yet to be made, press Alter plus G for Go To. Type Sales Bill Pending. Enter on Sales Bill Pending report from the list. Press Escape to go back to Delivery Note. 
Now, let's say high-tech computer world has returned two numbers of Dell 17-inch monitor since those were damaged. For goods that are returned before issuing a sales invoice, you need to record a rejection in voucher. To record rejection in, press F10 for other vouchers, type rejection in and select the rejection in voucher. You will be asked to activate the rejection in voucher type. Press Y to activate. Change the date by pressing F2. Select the party ledger. Customer's name and address will be auto-captured. Select the Dell 17-inch monitor and delivery note tracking number against which the rejection is made. I'm selecting tracking number as 1. Mention the quantity that is returned. Enter the accept the voucher. Now let's issue an invoice for actual goods which are delivered to high-tech computer world. Press F8 for sales voucher. Press F2 to change the date. In party ledger, select high-tech computer world. Select the tracking number as 1. Ctrl plus A to accept the screen. Again, Ctrl plus A to accept the party ledger screen. You can see the net stock which was delivered to High Tech Computer World is auto-captured. Press Enter to go forward. Select the tax ledger as applicable to your business. Enter and accept the sales voucher. Press I for Invoice Preview and Alt plus Z for Zoom. Escape and go back to Sales Voucher. Next, you can account for the money received against the sales using F6 for receipt voucher. What we learned so far is an order cycle that starts with sales order till the receipt. If you follow a different cycle or process, you can record only those vouchers which suit your needs. It's free of any rigid processes and you can manage it the way you want. Likewise, you can manage the purchase order process too. You will record a purchase order voucher instead of sales order. Likewise, receipt note will replace delivery note, followed by rejection out, purchase voucher and payment. Alright, a quick recap of things we learned in this session. Recording sales order, delivery note and rejection in. Recording sales invoice by tracking delivery note. Viewing order and delivery note reports from the voucher entry screen.